Hey, everybody, I want to take just a quick second to introduce you to an outstanding insurance producer. Her name is Gabby Tharp, and she's in Kansas with the Farmers Insurance Agency. Gabby sent me this email just the other day saying, Joseph, just this week, I helped a prospect who is a teacher here in town go from $50,000 in liability, that's all she had, increasing it to $250,000 plus an umbrella, plus her home. I was able to get all of that for this teacher. She she continues, I also helped a prospect who said, I'm not interested in the car insurance, but I might have some other needs. I got to closing his home and his cars, his daughter's car, his other daughter's home that he purchased and was insured wrong, and a landlord for the home that he's moving out of at the end of this week. So, you know, Gabby, you're not just taking orders, are you? You're giving people advice and you're protecting them. Tell us more about your outstanding success. Oh, um, I definitely think it, I mean, I know it is from following the process. I was, uh, it's hard when you see someone's 100, 300 or 250,000 already, it's like, Oh, this is probably easy enough. What about your umbrella? Um, and when someone has 25,000 or 50,000, it's so hard to want to bring that up because price is such a factor. Like I tell people all the time, like, Nope, totally fine. I get it. Like dollar time calories. It's all a budget. And so I scare myself away when I see those numbers and like trying to offer an umbrella, but I didn't even like, I just followed the, the script. I went with it. I, followed it. I was like, Hey, like, what is your relish? Like, I, don't, I don't really know what that is. I was like, okay, totally fine. Like, let's keep rolling into it. And she didn't even like bring up the price. She was like, okay, yeah, let's do it. And I was like, awesome. Sounds great. I, here's all your documents. Go ahead and sign it. And I'll call you in two weeks for your two week follow-up call. Talk to you soon. <laughs> do you have any idea if you were higher in price, lower in price? Like, did it even come up the price or her rates come up now? No, I didn't ask. She was an online um, quote request. She was like messing around online and did it. And so I pulled it in and pulled it into her agency and went from there. Didn't even ask about price. And you know, she's a teacher. Y'all, mm -hmm. teachers are saints. Saints. They literally spend thousands of dollars and years in school to be stuck in a room with kids, not even their own kids, y'all. I'm sorry. I couldn't be a teacher. You could pay me enough to be around 20 other people's kids. I'm really impressed that you took somebody who's not making a lot of money, but you gave her maximum liability limits and included an umbrella. Why did she need that though? Is she a millionaire? Does she need a million dollars of extra coverage? No. And I use that. I stole that line from you guys. I use it all the time. You don't have to be a millionaire to be sued by Gwen. Um, literally just a week ago, we had an insured who was driving down the road and he, there was a motorcyclist who went into their lane and hit their boat, um, walked away, called his friends from the bar to come and pick him up, was very clear in the taxi, convinced, like tried to convince our insured, let's just go to the bar and settle it with shots. Like we don't need to call the police. Um, and then the insured got a letter that he's the motorcyclist who hit his boat was trying to sue him for a hundred thousand dollars. So even though it seems so cut and dry, like people are wild, you never know what's going to happen. So it's always best to be safe and sorry. That's very, very true. And, you know, I imagine she works really hard to provide for herself. Uh, does she have any children? All grown. Up, teacher? Oh, grown children. Okay. Yeah. Uh, married, unmarried. Do you remember? Do you recall? She is married. Yes. And I don't okay. remember what her husband does. I'm assuming like carpentry in there because he's completely remodeled their home and they hadn't even gone over their home insurance since they've added like a third bedroom and an attached garage and all that. So we were able to dive into all of it kind of, which is nice. He's a very handy man. That's good. I wasn't sure like what the whole situation was. You put them in so much better position. You know, everything that they're working so hard for, everything that they're working so hard for, their income, their home, that he's put his his sweat in. Like, y'all, I can't even nail a nail straight. I, don't, I can't. Like, my wife is the handy man at our house. I'm not a very handy person. He has helped build that home. And like the other homes, they've amassed maybe some savings. They have their future ahead of them. All of that could have been at risk because she was driving around with $50,000 of covers. That's all that her, her old agent gave them. You gave them so much more coverage. I'm just proud of you for not taking the easy road. Tell us more about this other guy. He was like, ah, I just want the home. But then you got the cars, yeah. the home, both of his daughters covered, landlord policy out of it. Tell us a bit more about that awesome success. 
Yeah, so that one was another, he's shopping around online. I was helping him and I emailed him the auto quote and I was like, hey, just so you know, like it pulled in um, the, or he was looking for a home insurance quote for a house that he's buying. I was like, hey, I pulled that in. I've updated it, it to include proper replacement costs because if something happens, we want you to be properly replaced. Um, let's talk. I did include the auto discount that just includes the best price I can give you. And he was like, I don't really know that I'm interested in auto. Um, I might have some other insurance needs. Call me on Saturday. And I was like, okay, I don't know what that means. So I called him on Saturday and I was like, Hey, um, what's going on? Just wanted to follow up on our email. Did you have any questions to start with on the home quote I sent you? And he's like, well, so I'm buying that. I don't know my closing date, the house I live in, I'm moving out of, and I'm letting my one daughter live in. And I was like, okay, well, I know you said no to auto insurance, but I already worked it all up. It pulled everything in for me. So I just want to make sure these three cards right for you. And he was like, well, yeah, it's really weird that you know that. I was like, oh, I know. Well, our system pulls in from other insurance information. So it's really convenient for me, creepy for you. Um, <laughs> and so then we kind of went over that and I was like, but it pulled in this address on the auto. You're buying this one. Where Where is this house going? And that's when we moved into, well, that's going to be a landlord. He's like, but I also have a third home. I have it insured as my homeowners as well. And I was like, like, do you, do you live there? And he's like, no, I live in this one um, until I buy that one. I was like, okay, well, that's insured wrong. That should really be a landlord property. Or since your daughter is technically the owner of it and paying you his mortgage, we should insure it as her primary. Um, it saves him money on the auto and also increased deductible to get him the umbrella because he's a respiratory therapist at the hospital. Um, and then put his daughter on her own auto since she's going to be living in a separate household and that's the proper way to do that. So that's how that one kind of went. <laughs> You've got the whole family in hand in, in, in good coverage. Uh, both daughters, both daughters, mm -hmm. so you turn a home lead into home and cars and cars and home and landlord policy. You turn one item, one policy, and then multiple policies for three different customers. That's amazing. You know, your agent investing in leads for you Awesome. You know, what we got to do is have a good return on that investment. Ladies and gentlemen watching this, if you're blessed to be an agency that's investing in leads and marketing, if you want to get more, close more. And she's doing that. She turned one item into numerous policies for numerous different customers. That dramatically increases the return on investment, the ROI for your agents investing in leads in you. That is just really, really cool. I'm so proud of you. And I've really enjoyed getting to know you over the past several months. I cannot wait to continue to watch you grow. Where do you see yourself over the next few months? Oh gosh. Well, I currently average like around 45 to 50. So I'm hoping I can get up to like 75 because that makes that closer century club that much closer. Um, since I've started, I've like watched and highlighted Beth and I'm like, Oh my gosh, I want to be here so bad. Um, but obviously like I am my own like enemy. So I just want to continue to beat myself and improve and help others. That's what I'm here for. You're your competitor. You're your competitor. Yeah. You're competing yeah. with yourself. You're going to yeah. beat today. You're going to be better than you were yesterday. This week, better than you were last week. This month, better than you were last month. And listen, I know times are kind of challenging right now for many carriers all across the country, farmers included, when it comes to rates and guidelines and stuff. But you're hanging in there. Well, you're not, no, you're not just hanging in there. You're growing. You're getting better. You're doing even more. Just imagine when guidelines start to open up rates start to become even more competitive you're gonna skyrocket i can definitely see you hitting century club at some point and i can't wait to send you the cwc century club award keep growing keep getting better and thank you for taking time to share your story with us today yeah.